Here we're going to look at the terrain analysis tool as part of our optimization for monitor coverage and geolocation coverage from a network of RFI nodes. So let's switch on the elevation data overlay. This could be SRTM data, LiDAR data or any other elevation data you may have or a combination of all of them overlaid on top of each other. So we're going to bring our elevation data on here. So you can see we have terrain and then we want to map out the terrain so say we're going to add a, a network of nodes around this particular area here. So I can add the terrain analysis module and we're going for a target frequency of 1 gigahertz and you'll see why, the, why that will be in a moment. So we have a terrain analysis module and we want to then look at the terrain from say this node to this node. So on here we can select the start um, stop position which is here so we're going to start with uh, RX1 which is the blue node and finish at RX2 so now you see we have a green line drawn between the two and what we're seeing here is the terrain between the two in height in meters are here and this is distance and we can see the terrain profile obviously it's quite low terrain uh, only a few meters because we're right on the coast and this is the Fresnel zone the ellipse here is a Fresnel zone for the center frequency of 1 gigahertz as well as a line of sight component um, drawn in here so we can see when we're encroaching the Fresnel zone or encroaching the line of sight component with the terrain. So as I change the frequency we can see how the Fresnel zone changes and the, the target maps auto scaling now so as we go high in frequency and lower in frequency so let's keep it at 1 gigahertz for now and then what I can do is I can move the node about so now we can see we're sat behind some mountains with our oh, I call them mountains are a few hundred meters high um, hills uh, and then we have completely encroached on the line of sight and the Fresnel zone is heavily encroached so clearly there wouldn't be much uh, signal quality between this point and this point in terms of power on reception. Another example of how the terrain analysis tool works it also takes into account the earth curvature so we can see where the horizon is for our nodes it's around about there as we hit the uh, horizon of the earth curvature and that's also built into when we have a terrain as well so we have earth curvature as well as the terrain data sat on top of that okay so let's just bring that node back we can keep adding terrain analysis modules as many as we like um, so we might want to do analysis from this node to this node so we can add another terrain analysis 1 gigahertz and then we can specify on this terrain analysis where we want the start and stop to be so we'll start at RX2 finish at RX3 and now you see we have the terrain for that node as well and we can keep continuing so we can look at between these two so we can optimize the coverage for all three nodes and easily have them talking to each other so we're going to go from this node here to sorry, this node here to this node there and now we've got another terrain plot as we can see there so as we move our nodes about we're getting updated terrain plots for each of those nodes. You can see all three of them there. So this is a really useful tool before we even start looking at um, the analysis in terms of propagation and to, uh, analysis using our propagation analysis module we can look at the terrain and, and pretty much come to a good idea of, of where we should start positioning the nodes for the area they have to cover.